What's up you guys, it's Maeva and welcome back to my channel. So today we are making a super easy and fast gluten-free snack, fried raviolis. The ingredients that you'll need are gluten-free bread, fresh ricotta cheese, now you can buy this at the store or you can make it from scratch. If you want to make it from scratch, I have a video, link will be in the description box below or click that i-card at the top right hand corner to get redirected to that video. In terms of seasonings, we're going to be using 1 teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, a squeeze of lemon or lime juice, and optionally, a quarter cup of pulverized parmigiano reggiano and some Julian spinach. So, let's begin. We're going to start off by cutting into our ricotta cheese and adding in the dry seasonings like the parmesan, salt, pepper, and spinach. We're waiting on the lemon for a little bit later on. As soon as everything is evenly dispersed, we're going to add in the lemon juice as that will make the entire dough very, very smooth. Now this recipe is very, very versatile. You can add any filling of your choice. You can add more seasoning, vegetables, cheeses, anything your heart desires because at the end of the day, the star of the dish is definitely the coating. Now while making gluten-free pasta is possible, it does require a lot of specific ingredients, which a lot of people might not have on hand. But the ingredient that you'll most likely have on hand is bread. Whether you have celiac or not, bread is a common ingredient in our pantries. And it's a great alternative wrappers for a lot of stuffed snacks like this fried ravioli or any other type of a spring roll and stuff like that. Now obviously you're going to need more bread to make the ravioli only because of the shape of it but if you were making something, perhaps a roll, that corresponds with the shape of the bread you might not be cutting so much bread off. But don't you worry, all the bread that is cut off, we are going to be baking it in the oven and turning it into homemade breadcrumbs. So don't you worry, none of the bread is going to waste, it's all going to be made into fresh breadcrumbs. If you guys enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you guys get notified every single time I post. Now that my filling is finished, I'm going to set it off to the side and get on started with making those wrappers for my ravioli. To make the wrapper for the raviolis, we're going to take a slice of bread, put it down on a cutting board, use a rolling pin, and roll it out as much as possible. Uh, for measurement purposes, try to roll it out about 2-3 to three millimeters thick if possible. If not, try to roll it out as thin as you possibly can. Once you've rolled out your bread, you want to just cut off the crust areas of it, try to get it in a rectangular squarish type of a shape, and then you're going to set it off to the side, you're going to roll out another piece of bread in the same manner, cut off those edges, and then we're going to take a dollop of our filling, put it in the center of the square, and then take some water, put it all the way around the edges, and then we're going to add the top slice of bread on top and make sure to squeeze the edges tight and then we're going to cut the edges to get the right shape. Now keep in mind once again all this extra bread that is getting cut off it is going to be baked and made into breadcrumbs so don't worry you can do the same thing or if you don't want to then you don't have to cut off those edges you can leave it just as is. Now be careful you want to try to get as much of the air out as possible but it's not like pasta that is going to explode then just cut around the edges to shape up your ravioli and there you have it. Now you can continue making the rest of your raviolis until your filling is finished. Once you're done making your raviolis, you can start heating your oil up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and start frying up your raviolis. With the amount of mixture I made, I got about five to seven raviolis that are pretty average size. Now, if you want, you can also bake these at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes, or you can steam them for 10 to 15 minutes as well. And after steaming it, you can actually turn it into an actual ravioli dish. 
If you would like me to show you how to do that, then leave a comment down below. Now we're just going to fry these raviolis for about 2-3 to three minutes until they reach a beautiful golden brown color. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, then please consider hitting that red subscribe button and clicking that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Also while at it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it or give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. It honestly helps me know which videos you guys enjoy and which videos you don't. Once your raviolis have reached a golden brown color, take them off the heat, put them on a paper towel lined plate, and let the excess grease come off. Now just let the rest of your raviolis cook until they're ready to be taken out of the oil. So this is your finished product. As you can see, our fried raviolis have a gorgeous golden brown color. Now you can serve it up just as is or with some dipping sauce. Today we have some chimichurri, tartar, and marinara sauce. Now we're just going to cut into one of these to give you guys a close up of the cross section. As you can see, the outside is very crunchy and crisp while the inside is uh, cooked, warm, and has a spilling in. So you can see the spinach running through it, you can see the cheese, you can see the seasonings, and yeah. So that is pretty much it for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that bell. But that'll be it for this week. I will see y'all next week. Bono de goodbye.